Hello and welcome to this brand new Houdini quick tip tutorial. So in this quick tip, I want to show you how you can use the redshift displacement in Solaris as well. So here is a simple scene in the standard workflow in the SOP level context. And if I want to add the displacement on this torus, the only thing that I have to do is to assign the material that I created in the VEX builder. I created the redshift material. If we dive inside, you can see that I already applied some textures in the displacement node. So how we can activate the displacement to show in the renderer? You have to click on the geo node and then on the redshift object, on the tab tessellation displacement, turn on enable tessellation and enable displacement. And you can see that the displacement now starts to work. Now, when we switch to Solaris, the workflow is a bit different. So let's switch to Solaris. Okay, so you can see that we have the same scene, the torus, because I imported the scene with the sub import from the sub level inside Solaris. But you also can see that the displacement does not transfer. So how we can show up the displacement within Solaris as well? We need a node for that. And this node called render geometry setting. So create this node. And you may think that, okay, this is a render setting. So I put it below here where I have all my render settings, right? Click on this node and you can see that we have a Karma and the Redshift tab. So go into the Redshift tab and you can see that also here you have tessellation and displacement. So what this node actually does, it converts the sub-level tessellation and displacement information inside the Solaris world. So to activate or basically to override the sub-level information with the new Solaris information, I have to go to this little circle and I have to set or create every setting that I need to change and to have access to enable tessellation and enable displacement. So now everything is set up correctly, but you still does not see the displacement. The thing is that this node here has to be placed after the sub import. When I bring this in here, bam, you can see that now the displacement shows up correctly. And with this simple node here, you can bring the displacement, the redshift displacement from the sub level inside Solaris. So I hope this quick tip is helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for get notification when a new tutorial comes up very soon. Thank you and have a good time. Bye.